In the previous video, we saw how to instantiate an app and get it up and running inside of Contentful. And what we had done is we built a very simple input app here. So we were just recreating the functionality of our title field. Nothing new, nothing fancy. But one thing that we didn't get to is updating values and seeing those values actually get saved inside of Contentful. So if I go and I change the title of my post here, you'll see that nothing here in the status has changed. I'm still in published mode and my last save changes were over a minute ago. And if I refresh the page here just to illustrate, we'll see that my changes actually didn't take effect. So my app is not saving changes, it's not reporting changes back to the main Contentful web app. And that's something that we'll take care of using the SDK. And it's quite simple. So back in the code, as you'll remember, we got started by running the create Contentful command and we built a small app. If you haven't seen the previous videos or you're confused about what I'm talking about, go back and watch those and you'll see how we got to this point. Uh, but now what we want to do is we actually want to add an additional method here, which will allow for the text input to not only display the proper value, but also be able to set the proper value and tell Contentful to save this information. So using our React methods here, I'm going to create an onChange handler inside of the text input. And inside of our onChange handler, I'm going to take an event, and what I'll want to do is call a function to actually set the value in Contentful. And we can do this again by accessing the SDK. So on props, I'm going to access the SDK. I'm going to go into the field, because we're manipulating the current field. And I'm going to choose set value. And we're going to pass uh, the value of the input into our set value command inside of the SDK. So now back in the web app, nothing has seemingly changed, but again, we do have hot reloading. And if I go to change my post again here, you can see already in the status area, what we have is an autosave as well as a status of changed. So now we have our app actually reporting back the values to Contentful to actually save information inside of Contentful using the SDK. And again, to illustrate that, if I hit refresh, we'll see that my values have changed and those changes have stuck with the current entry. Next up, we're going to start to look at how you can use the SDK to manipulate different data points, how to access different fields, and how to collate some of this data between the different locations inside of apps.